Okay, today we're going to start printmaking and there's a few rules that we need to follow. First of all, printmaking is a bunch of ink. This is not paint, this is actual ink. And the ink here, actually what will happen is it absorbs into the paper. Now, with that being said, if you get it on your hands, it washes off. If you get it on your clothes, it's permanent. So you want to make sure that you don't get it anywhere, that we don't want it. So with that being said, I don't want horseplay today. Horseplay, if you, you know, if you're trying to get on your buddy, that's one thing, but whenever you start trying to get it on your buddy and it gets on somebody else's stuff, that's destruction of property and that's a write-up because it's misuse of products as well as destruction of property. So yes, I'm very strict today on this. Stay with me. The other thing is, is today will be a no food or drinks day. You can have the drink in the classroom, but you don't want this in your mouth. It'll make you queasy. It could, you know, it's not going to kill you, but it's not comfy. So with all of that being said, let's get ready to get started on what we're going to do. What we're going to start with is a piece of white paper and I'm going to give you this. This is a little thicker than a regular piece of white paper. And the reason is, is because again, ink has to absorb into the paper. It doesn't set on top. Now, what's going to happen is I'm going to give you a piece of mat board that I have put clear packing tape on the top. The reason I do that is because that way we have somewhere, we have a palette for our ink. When you put ink down, and I will come around and help you do this because I want to keep it limited, about a thumbprint amount is all you need. Now what we're going to do here is you roll it two different ways. And it sounds like it's sticky. That's what you want. And you can see, as I show you here, you can see it shine on the brayer. This is called a brayer. You're then going to take your stamp and you're going to roll it on your stamp. Okay. When you lay a brayer down, you always lay it with the handle down and the roller up or it smashes the roller to make a flat spot on my rollers. I am then going to take, place it on my paper. Now the first time you do this, this is called a print. And that's what it looks like. But then, even with it not adding any more ink, I can go back in and this is called, this one actually is a pretty good ghost print. But I'm just going to keep going. What I have found out, or what we're going to look at, is the differences between string and foam and cardboard. We're going to, I'm going to be asking you questions about if you see differences in how you built yours. So this is my paper. And guys, I'm not looking at, yes, this is a beautiful art piece. This is something wonderful, great, and grand. This, again, is a kindergarten day. We're experimenting. We're playing. We're trying to figure things out. When we get done with this paper, I want you to hold on to it because we are going to use it for the next day. So before I get done, I'm going to put my name on the edge. Okay, and we'll be done. So that's today's assignment. And yes. So for today, I want you to fill up a page with stamps. That means I don't care if you use your stamps, I don't care if you borrow your neighbors as long as they as long as they are willing to share. But you have to fill up the whole page with stamps. Make them overlap, make them do funny things. I don't care. This is this is a playtime. This is the only day we're going to have ink out to do this, so I want you to spend this time wisely working. At the end of the hour, we need to wash up everything and get ready to go. Okay. 